Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use this uh, Persona 5 paper tear transition, boss battle transition, whatever you want to call it. Um, show you how to use that in Adobe Premiere. Uh, obviously use whatever video editing software that you're comfortable with, but I use Adobe and Adobe's good as well because it's got masking tools which we're going to need to use. Um, the link will be in the description of this video and the previous one where I showed off the example version. Um, so you'll be able to download this and use this in your own projects. It's a large file for the duration of it but it's like 100 megabytes so just bear that in mind. Um, and it's got a transparent layer. So um, yeah with that said let's head into uh, Adobe Premiere. Right, so I've already got my layer set up because I was just recording this and then uh, had some issues. So you're going to need three tracks. Uh, we'll call this bottom layer, layer A. This is your first layer. Uh, so in this case I'm just using some random footage. So it's this Persona 5 loop and star thing. Uh, layer B is going to be the one on top of that. So that's the layer that you transition into. So here I've just got some Death Stranding footage that I'm uh, using for another project that I'm working on. And then the top layer is the transition layer or the paper tear layer, whatever you want to call it. So you want to drag this to whatever point you need it to uh, transition. So on this there's no actual point where I'm like that needs to be the transition. So I've just placed it randomly a couple of seconds in. And this part here you, when you go a few frames across where the, um, the green starts to show. So it goes from like this white spidery thing to this uh, opening. This is where you want your next piece of footage to come in. So as you can see with it having a transparent background here it's quite easy to just plonk it on top of something but then it also means that the transition doesn't work properly. So what you want to do is come over here type in key or uh, ultra key in the effects um, panel. Drag the ultra key onto the paper tear layer and thankfully this time it did it automatically. And click on the little eyedropper here, go over to this part here, click on it and as you can see that's now a transparent layer as well so it works exactly the same. You can see it's uh, basically just doing the same thing but now this part's open. So now what we need to do is we need to create a mask for this layer. Now creating a mask that always sounds and kind of you know it has this thing where I'm, you know I can't really be bothered to do it but it's actually really easy um, although it's easier to do in After Effects compared to in Premiere but it's only a couple of frames so it's not difficult to do and the good thing is with this it's quite a um, quite a loose uh, shape um, and even the one in the game which I've, I've studied for quite a while when I was making this is quite loose as well so there's points of it where if you're going in frame by frame you can see it's actually kind of like bleeding over the edge of the shape but it's such a, um, a quick transition you know you're talking literally a few frames that no one would notice it unless they actually went in and paused it and zoomed in on the stuff but uh, anyway yeah so like I said click on the um, click on your layer that you transition into and click on um, this pen tool here, the free draw bezier or the free draw mask and you can draw a mask around this shape so we're going to do a sort of like circle-y shape here and make sure that you go kind of around these white bits and that should probably do it. Okay so now you can see that the transition works a little bit better now but now we just need to animate it so click on mask path you'll see that the anchors and the path has disappeared so just click up here on mask one and then we can use these here you can use these as well but I just tend to use this up here since it's all kind of in one uh, little list so we want to track forward one frame and as you can see we've got a frame ahead so we need to then move this around and I didn't mean to do that but with it being such a, a small thing it's kind of difficult to sometimes it's kind of difficult to grab the actual points rather than like the rotating part of it 
but just simply drag this out to where you need it to go so again we're just going for like a sort of loose circle-y shape and that should do it so go ahead into the frame that frame is exactly the same so you can add a keyframe there or you can just carry on without it and it's just a matter of simply dragging this out until the animation ends so I'm gonna just fast forward through this just to save you some time so you're not watching me do the same thing over and over again Okay, so at the an end of the animation you can just kind of draw like a sort of rectangular shape around it and as long as you've covered the whole thing you should be fine. Uh, just one more thing to add as well, if you need to add any more points to the, the mass you can just click anywhere and once the uh, you can see the pen nib with the plus on it you can just add that and drag that out. Um, I don't know if this is like a thing in this version or something but it seems that like once they go up and down you can't grab the anchors anymore but um, I feel like before you used to be able to I don't know if that's just me being wrong or something but I find that using the mask tool in in Premiere compared to After Effects it's night and day because the, the After Effects one is just so much better um, but anyway so we'll go back to the start of the, uh, the clip here and as you can see the animation works perfectly well um, and as I said earlier it's such a quick animation that um, you know you can afford to be a little rough with it as you can see there but like I said that's pretty um, similar to the one that's in the actual game so that's basically uh, that's basically it so now that you know how to do it you can use this for anything and maybe you've learned something about uh, masking in Adobe Premiere but um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's all I've got to say. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, and, and found something useful here. Oh, and um, yeah, if you've got any more like ideas of stuff for me to do, because this was uh, actually requested of me uh, the other day. Um, at the moment, I'm I'm trying to work on some Persona 4 Golden uh, sort of assets and stuff, so. Uh, I'm not going to stop doing the Persona 5 stuff, but there's nothing really jumping out at me where I'm like, oh, I really want to make that. So if you have any more requests of things for me to try, then absolutely uh, let me know because uh, at the moment that's probably going to be, um, you know, where I'm getting the ideas from. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.